This might come in handy. Where is it? Was he trying to uncover something in these paintings? I guess he felt compelled to tell the world how hard he was looking for something. Lunatic. I don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. Aha! An old gas-powered lawnmower. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just some old newspapers in those. Nothing useful. Nothing useful. Empty. Found a tape in there. There's also something else. A custody appeal form for me? July 15th, 1981? I don't believe it. He... He tried to get me back from my mom. Right to the very end. Yourself together, Kathy. Looks like an old Boy Scout uniform. Guess Grandpa was involved back in the day. Oh, wait! Didn't Jimmy's note on the back of the photo say something about being in a troop before they were men? That's gotta be the Boy Scouts! It says Camp Parowan on a patch here. Parowan Peak is a local clifftop not too far from here. Could Jimmy have hidden Grandpa's metal box somewhere in that area? This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 2. August 2nd, 1981. I've come to believe that the glowing lights are sudden bursts of energy, similar to the static discharge that causes lightning. However, instead of a positive and a negative electric charge, the colliding forces have a uh, dimensional nature. Assuming this hypothesis is correct, the lights would only appear on the edges of the zone. If I can plot enough sightings on a map, I should be able to determine the shape of the area. When I have that shape, I can find the center. That's where the source must be. That's where I have to go. Hmm. I'll mark the map where I know the lights have appeared. The nature reserve is a start, but I'll need to find more points.
Mary Sue. A hidden picture. Oh my god, that's Nathan! He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this or foresaw it. I knew you were trouble. Sue, I found something. It's horrific. Spare me! I invite you into my home, and this is how you repay me? Breaking in here? Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Just look at it. That's your son. That's Nathan. You think I didn't know? What kind of mother you think I am? Wait. You... you knew? For how long? Long enough. Now it's time for the lady with the gun to ask the questions. Okay. Relax. Whatever you want. Good. Now who else knows about this? Why? What are you gonna do? Whatever the hell I want. You just broke into my house. Fine. I'll get out of here. You won't see me again. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll run straight to the police. What would I even say? That I found this creepy painting of a murder that happened two decades ago? You'll figure something out. You're so fucking clever, aren't you? <laughs> That's not the word I'd use considering the situation I'm in. I suppose you got a point there. If this ever gets out, you know he'll be put away. They'll lock him up in some horrible institution. He killed his sister, Sue. Have you considered that a place like that might be the best for him? How can you say that? You know what those places are like, considering what you did to your mother? It's worse than prison. And not only do they take away your freedom, they force feed you a mouthful of mine dollars every morning. I have to protect him. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, I'm so sorry. I knew you were trouble. Sue, I found something. It's horrific. Spare me! I invite you into my home, and this is how you repay me? Breaking in here? Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Just look at it. That's your son. That's Nathan. You think I didn't know? What kind of mother you think I am? Wait. You... you knew? For how long? Long enough. Now it's time for the lady with the gun to ask the questions. Okay. Relax. Whatever you want. Good. Now who else knows about this? No one. I just found out. Good. Now, we're in kind of a jam, aren't we? How do I know you won't squeal on us as soon as I let you out of here? That's not my style, Sue. I don't rat people out. Because sneaking in here like this is something a straight shooter would do. I can't trust a goddamn word coming out of your mouth. If this ever gets out, you know he'll be put away. They'll lock him up in some horrible institution. I understand you're scared, but I'm just trying to find the truth. I I'm not out to get anyone. I guess we better pray that we don't end up as collateral damage on your way to the truth, then. Look, Sue, the only reason I'd ever tell anyone about this is if I really thought Nathan was dangerous. You're telling me he's not? That boy wouldn't have hurt a fly. The only way he could have done such an awful thing is if his sister pulled him so deep into her world of lunacy, he didn't know up from down. So you think she made him do it? Of 
course she did. Just look at the bloody painting. It's obvious she planned it. Yeah. I guess it would seem that way. Part of me resents her for doing that to Nate. That's the real reason I gave up the paintings. They were nothing but painful reminders of when Lily's misery was front, left, and center. But still, she was my little girl, and I miss her so much. But Nate's all I have now, and I'd rather die than let anyone take him from me. I can help, Sue. I'm sure there's more to all of this. My grandfather knew too, but someone or something got to him when he came too close. You and him are really alike, you know? I, uh, people say that. Where is Nathan now? I just want to talk to him. He took a boat out on the lake. There's this place where he and Lily used to go. An island. Okay, how can I get there? There's another boat down on the dock. A bit shabby, but you can probably fix her up. I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna walk out of here now, Sue. Go, before I change my mind. I'll talk to my boy if you must, but don't come back in here. I don't trust myself right now. You take care of yourself, Sue. Christ, that was close. Oh, what's this? Looks like another of Nathan's drawings. He must have dropped it here. Let's see here. Oh crap, the tank's empty. I'll have to find some kind of fuel for that, which means that I need to get my hands on a gas can first. Looks like one of the spark plugs is busted too. I'll take that with me. Hopefully I can find a matching replacement plug somewhere. Hey, you're back. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. All right. Oh, and I'm really sorry about that locker thing. <laughs> I was getting some serious high school flashbacks in there. But I get it. You were looking out for your friend. I was. But look, how about you and I go grab a sandwich or something when all this is over? Really? You mean, as a date? Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd love to. Sounds great. Uh, let's figure out the details later, all right? I shouldn't keep the sheriff waiting. Sure thing. See you, Lenny. Let's talk, Sheriff. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus. I had my suspicions about that church, but I never thought it went this deep. Yeah. So, what happens now? I'll call the judge and get a warrant. If we find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay. Can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with you if you need him. Will do. Thanks, Sheriff. Think nothing of it. A medieval fortress near an ocean, probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. Don't beat yourself up about that locker fiasco, Lenny. Thanks, Sheriff. Trying... 
an axe, a sledgehammer, and some other heavy tools. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cells. I'll just borrow this for a while. Rats. Feels empty. I'll have to get gas elsewhere. Hello again, my child. I hope you enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Speak what you will. I have all the time in the world. Did you have something to do with what happened to my grandfather? Alas, I did not. What befell Joseph Rain was a product of his own volition. What's that supposed to mean? You think it was his own fault? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Joseph Rain was a good man, but what happened to him was according to God's divine and perfect justice. What do you really know about Lily Myers? Oh, the drowned girl is a conundrum. God gave her the gift of prophecy, a blessing, and a great honor. In return, she spat in God's face, cursed him for what he had done, and mocked his design by taking her own life. You're wrong about that. She made her brother do it. Suicide by proxy. Tricking the slow of mind into committing sin for her? Her wickedness was even greater then. Alas, there is no hiding from God. Her soul knows only fire and brimstone now. Why did you destroy Lily's paintings? Is that what you think I did? They looked pretty ruined to me. Like an ignorant child. You look only to the surface, and not on what lies hidden beneath. Are you implying that the paintings contain some hidden message? Oh yes. Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it is my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. Unnecessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. Who is the man dressed in red? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. Tell me what you did to my friend, Isaac. I offered her to God, and the Lord accepted her with open arms. If she is pure of heart, she will rise again, like my father did. Wait, the same thing was done to Father Bill? Oh yes, he was the first, the Alpha. All others followed. So what, you offered up Eileen to this God of yours? She is but one of many. I guided them all to the Stairs of Judgment. Wait, so you were responsible for all those people disappearing? Going crazy? All I did was bring them face to face with God. If they chose to reject him, they were beyond redemption. I don't need to show that to him. I'm done here. Good. Now go repent, sinner.
Okay, girl, time for you to do your part. Good thing I topped you up at the gas station this morning. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, sure. Let me just go buy a lawn first. Hmm. Let's see here. Aha! Same plug size. I'll take a good spark plug and throw away the busted one. Okay, that should be enough. All right, moment of truth. Yes, time to hit the water. That's the other boat. Nathan must be around. Nathan, you up there? Go away. No girls allowed. Well, that went great. I'm having a hard time following that logic. Hey, Nathan. I know what happened with you and Lily. Nuh-uh. Yes, I do. In the beginning, you and your sister were happy and carefree. You both enjoy drawing. Then, one day, you met the strange floating lights in the forest. After that, Lily started painting scary things. And then, Lily became angry. She wanted you to do something. In the end, something terrible happened. And Lily drowned in the lake. I had perny fingers. Yeah? It's hard to hear you up there, Nathan. 
Can you come down? Okay. Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But the Red Man says it was an accident and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. They did? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. Okay. So, what are we waiting for? Shh! They're close! See? <sighs> oh shit. We need to get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no! They're nice! Poor little Mender met her end. Witnessed so much she couldn't comprehend. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god. Struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. Twas a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. <sighs> you could just clap, you know. <sighs> No appreciation for the performing arts. There, there. You're being dramatic. Is it all those secrets piling up behind your face? No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Well then, it's always a pleasure, Bill. Jesus. Wakey, wakey! They're gone now. You know what, Kathy? What? I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, Nathan. Let's get you home. Poor guy. I don't think he understands any of this. I should mark the spot he brought me to on my map. Hmm. Two points can make a line, but that's not really a proper shape yet. Oh, and what did the red man say? The secrets piling up behind your face? <laughs>